like to do a flight testing not only over the sea but in a more realistic military area with a real military targets to detect like uh, tanks standing on the ground. One of the future goals of manned unmanned teaming is to optimize elements of the targeting cycle. For example, in enemy air defense operations, the manned unmanned teaming demonstrator then shall prove the concepts and fly. We have introduced for the first time two new sensors. One is an electro-optical camera. As the video material is on board of the remote carrier and then transferred in a compressed form to a ground station. By using triangulation from several radar sensors of different remote carriers, targets can be located faster. Sensor data and positions are exchanged between the remote carriers to coordinate their flight routes. For GPS independent navigation, we use distance measurements between the data links of the remote carriers. We have now a lot of data gathered, which we can use for the next campaign. 